So kaleidoscope. My first idea was to try to create a physical kaleidoscope. So here what's happening, um, the group is learning the um, Terp game board. They're pointing at the color indicators and in a kind of random looking fashion which makes it kind of fun, but they're, they're reasserting where those indicators are. So hopefully they'll remember them, which is what we'll find out soon. Now they're walking towards them and away from them, having to remember them while they're moving. And then they have to go to one of those markers. Now we've set up the kaleidoscopic, physical kaleidoscope. And we begin with uh, two people at a time. Here, here I was trying to make two lines weave between each other, which is a very difficult thing to do. I found out that if you have people starting at uh, a certain time, so you're, you're, you're telling them, uh, when I say go, walk across from, from one color to another color, and then I say go, and then I'm telling the people on the other side, when that person reaches the middle of the room, which is X, then start walking towards the other color. That was the best way to get them to mesh through one another. It works out very well with six people, but once you get to the seventh and eighth person, it doesn't work as well because people have different strides. Oh, this is interesting, right. So we're, <laughs> this is a lot of fun. So you've got, two, you've got three lines, and what they're doing is they're weaving um, back and forth between the six colors and crossing each other. And actually, they're having a lot of fun doing it. The people in the back are beginning to understand what's going on because they can see the guys in the front, which is kind of fun. It's really great because people start to discover that what they're doing with the other people is creating um, patterns. Now, those guys didn't realize they're supposed to like go over arms until everybody else did. Okay, now here we go with the kaleidoscope idea. So basically, if you had a shot from overhead, you'd see that they would be making um, specific patterns. So I start out with, the, with lines and um, triangles, and uh, just like a kaleidoscope works, that if you really slow it down, sometimes it's doing... Um, triangles moving in lines and moving in and out and anyway if you if you had an overall over overhead shot that's hopefully what you would see so you see how they're going from um, one color to the X center to another color so there's six colors on the side there's three on one side and three on the other now we have a little break here they do something less active, so I have time to <laughs> give them a big instruction. <laughs> Oop. A little bit of a traffic jam. They've been given the instruction cross cross country ski to go away, so that was their their interpretation of what cross-country skiing looks like. Here they have a little break, drawing boxes in the air. That's always fun when you tell people to run in a clockwise or counterclockwise circle because we all use digital clocks now. And then they congratulate each other. <laughs> yeah, really good job. <laughs> people are awesome. These people don't know each other, by the way. And they didn't know what was going to happen before they arrived.
Oh, that's their cross-country skiing. Oh, well. And we've got some clockwise and some counterclockwise. What's fun is that they're, they're, when they get an instruction, they're learning something. They're doing something completely new to them. Now, these two people with the hats on, they're, they've been indicated as pink and blue. So they're destinations and people. Yay! Bye-bye! Oh, <laughs> what happened? And that's Kaleidoscope.